All right, all right. Well, I got to move on. We got a few angles to get through. Let's jump back to WWE, okay? So I don't I don't want to say I don't want to talk about this, but I don't think I loved it as much as some people did. We're going to do the Cody and Roman Reigns meeting at Georgia Tech. This was on Friday night, SmackDown, the 20th of September it was. So let's do a summary review of this, okay? So Cody and Roman, just to fill people in from last week, the week before, if for some reason you don't know, they were going to face off against Solo's team, Solo's bloodline, and, and they agreed to form a union, right? It was hard, but in the end, Cody decided to tag team with Roman. So now they're going to talk about it. So for some reason, they're meeting up at Georgia Tech. Like, they can't have a, a cell phone call or a Zoom meeting. But here comes Roman Reigns with, like, five cars, I guess. He has to have, like, a, a like he's the president. And they drive into the Georgia Tech Stadium, which I guess he used to play there, right? He mentions this throughout. Here's here's some pictures. You guys are watching on YouTube. I'm showing some slides of what happened. So he walks out onto the field, and then Cody. Cody's just driving one car. It's a nice car. It's a white car. I don't know what that is. It's a Tesla or some shit. That's probably what all the rich people are using. Yeah, it doesn't look like a Tesla, but it doesn't I don't know. Whatever the fuck. They all look the same to me. Anyways, <laughs> here comes Cody. And they're gonna meet at the center of the field, right? And what what did they what did they say for to each other? Ro Roman was, oh Roman said this was my f I played here, so this is my field, right? Like, which was he like yeah. a prominent player at, at Georgia Tech or something? Like, is it his? Oh, yeah. field? I, I it's, his it's his city, or so yeah, this know. is his city. Georgia Atlanta is his city, huh? Because yeah. he played at Georgia Tech. I've never heard yeah. this. Never heard this of Roman Reigns, but okay. And then, you know, they had this long diatribe. I guess when I give my review, I'll mention that I thought a lot of this was just too long, that it could have been cut down. It was good. I gave it a thumbs up in the end. I liked it, but I thought it could have been better. Roman says that uh, they took everything from me and he has nothing to lose, right? So that's his thing. And they took his wise man. They took Jimmy Uso. They beat him up. They took his Ula Fala. And this was one thing I didn't understand because I was actually trying to map the conversation and listen to it logically <laughs> which it, it didn't really make logical sense because cody said uh you think you've got nothing to lose i beg to differ and then he lists how roman has nothing he has no championship he has no family <laughs> you know so and, he does have nothing to lose then. yeah so he does have nothing to lose so i thought that was a, like, i don't know if, if i missed something there logically in the conversation okay a lot of the conversation didn't flow logically for me they just try to make it dramatic and that's when roman he's a little rattled and he looks at cody and he goes what do you want then and cody says i want you to have my back and afterwards roman says i'll have your back but when this is done i'm coming for what's mine which is the wwe championship and then when roman starts to walk away cody steps in front of him and he says it's not yours and then roman says you're in my way and then cody steps back and then roman goes no you're in my way in life and yeah. then they play this dramatic music that it's i'm not gonna line. play because it was probably copyrighted or whatever but uh some some <laughs> new newfangled song that they played and that was the end of the scene i summarized it as quick as i could but there was more to it but anyways some of the review let's go to our review our rating system everyone all three of us gave it just a thumbs up so nobody gave it two thumbs up so all right so vlad let's hear your thoughts for thumbs up i guess why you liked it and then i guess criticism reasons why you didn't give it more than a thumbs up yeah i mean i like the stuff that was said for the most part like you know like this would have been a very good promo but the whole scene didn't make a lot of sense like why are they meeting on a football field face to face <laughs> in the middle of like the college football, I understand the only connection is that uh, he, uh, Roman played college football there as like whatever, as a linebacker or whatever the hell he played as, I don't even know. But um, I mean, it really didn't make any sense in the meeting. What, well, this couldn't have been done in the ring. Like this would have been a great promo in the ring that they could have cut. It would have been tremendous. Maybe one of the better things they had, had done in a while, um, you know, with their two biggest stars. But instead it's like a video package of, and then like, the whole thing with Roman coming in five cars. I mean, it was 
it was kind of idiocy, but the, the stuff, the, <laughs> the, the, the meat, the, the, the meat and potatoes of what they were saying was tremendous. I thought, I thought it was great. Like the stuff that they were saying. So I'm like, what? this could have been so good in the ring. I mean, if they just cut a promo in the ring, like these two guys meeting face to face, but this whole thing kind of felt a little hokey and like, they're just co coming into this empty college stadium. Like he drove, Cody drove right in. And this is AW a little bit. Like Cody drove right into the college arena, like with no problem. He just drove his car in there. <laughs> I don't know. It just seemed a little really, really hokey and a little weird. But um, like I said, if you just cu cut that part out and just focus on what was said, very good. Mm -hmm. And that's why I gave it one thumbs up. But as a whole thing, I couldn't give it more than that because it was just a little too silly for my for my taste. All right, Robert, also a thumbs up. All right, so first off, if I were to just rate this segment based on production value alone, this would have gotten an easy two thumbs up for me. <laughs> if just true. Ju ju just, by, just yeah. by production value alone. Yeah. Yeah. But that, that's, not all, that's not the only thing I'm taking into consideration. There were some things that were said that just didn't make sense to me. So when when Roman Reigns said that he had nothing to lose, dude, you just rolled in with seven SUVs, and then now you're saying you have nothing to lose? <laughs> what? Good point. That doesn't make sense. Good point. Uh, what? Okay. That's I, true. And uh, also, when he said uh, at the very end, you're in my way in life, I, I my initial thought was, oh man, that's a that's a cool line. That sounds pretty awesome. But then yeah. I come to think of it, I, like for him to say that to Cody, it, I, it, and to, at least to me, also doesn't make sense because you you were in Cody's way for t more than two years, right? Now uh, now you're uh, assuming you're trying to get that title back. You you've only not had the title for a few months. So now Cody's in your way just for a few months, but you were in his way for two years. So for him to say that to him, like mm -hmm. you're in my way in life, it was a little bit silly, but you know, overall it was cool. And uh, just as an aside, this this is separate from my review of this angle. There, Cause there's a lot of talk about how Cody's title reign has been very lackluster or mid and mm -hmm. For the most part, I do agree with that, but I think it's now interesting again. However, as I was thinking about this segment and this angle, I, I did think uh, I was wondering in my head, like, okay, I, I, his, his title reign is now, at least for me, interesting again. But does this mean he always needs the bloodline? <laughs> Yeah, you know, the involvement from the bloodline to have and uh, to to uh, make his title reign relevant i mean i haven't seen anything non-bloodline related so far from his reign that that's been interesting but we'll see <laughs> okay well i'll just mention real quick before we move on I, a, a positive of this is that they clearly mentioned that roman reigns wants the wwe title back so he's not done Okay, because I was thinking about that. I'm like, is he ever going to try to get that title back? Is there, Are they going to reinsert him into the title scene? Is there going to be a thing with him and Cody again someday? So that's intriguing, and that's good. But overall, the fact that they were talking to each other for so long and, and just standing there, it was, I don't know. Honestly, I, I, what's the word I want to give it? It was kind of cringe. I'm sorry. It was kind of cringe to me in a way, which is kind of a tough word. But overall, no. I think I, I think the, I think the idea was good. I think it looked cool. I think they want to make these guys look like ridiculously huge stars with 15 How, stars coming in. But I don't know if the idea is good. What sense did it make for them to meet here? It didn't make any sense. Why would they meet here? Why can't they meet in the ring like like two wrestlers? Like <laughs> doesn't make sense. Why would they meet in this football stadium of all places? Like it just. I understand there's a connection to Georgia. Both guys mentioned their connection to Atlanta and you know. Um, Cody's family's history in wrestling yes, for Georgia yes, wrestling, yeah, right? Yeah, okay, yeah that was he was okay. retorting with about whose right. town I is get it all really? That, but but the, <laughs> which is ridiculous. <laughs> like it's neither of theirs. I don't think no, I don't think anybody cares specifically about Robert or Cody in in Atlanta. You know, but yeah, you, you don't you don't think there's those old Dusty Rhodes fans that are still rooting sure, for Cody. Some, 
yeah, there could be some of that, but not like, I don't think it's a crazy amount of people. But yeah. anyways, I, I think the point is that I, what I'm trying to, I just didn't like, uh, yeah, I think it was a little cringy because they, of where the, the thing took place. If they had just done this in the ring, in the middle of the ring, cut this amazing promo where they went back and forth, that would have been fine for me, man. That would have, I would have probably given it two thumbs up. But this whole thing, it was a little too theatrical and a little too silly for me. Bye.